water. No nation is so connected, no people so bound to water as the Dutch. Water is dear to them, yet strong and feared. It's a never-ending battle they fight, and they do so with strength and with love. Water is in their genes. The Dutch are experts at managing water. They can do it. They're well known around the world for their dredging and flood protection. The Dutch built flood barriers in New Orleans, dikes in New York, and their expertise proved indispensable during the 2014 flooding in Somerset, England. The winter that has just passed uh, saw really uh, exceptional rainfall across the United Kingdom. Circumstances were truly exceptional with very significant flooding across Somerset. And uh, I think it was interesting to see that uh, during the, the worst part of this crisis that, that Dutch expertise was brought over uh, to provide some advice on, on drainage and, and pumping capacity. So really good example of cooperation across Europe. Because the Dutch are experts when it comes to safety, they now take the next step, flood protection with an emphasis on improving the ecology of water. Water safety is really a top priority in the Netherlands. It's because we are situated in a river delta. But ecological concerns have become increasingly important over the last decades. I think the European Water Framework Directive is an important instrument to collectively improve water quality. Establishing safety doesn't mean everything needs to be closed off. In fact, we're finding ways to optimally benefit both safety and ecology. Fish stocks in the Netherlands are reasonably good, but unevenly distributed. We want to improve access to spawning grounds and restore population diversity, so each area will get the fish population that's right for it. A few thousand years ago, rivers flowed freely throughout the Netherlands. But then the Dutch started controlling the water with countless man-made structures. The result is a safe but highly fragmented water system. The Netherlands has excellent roads and we've even built bridges for fauna. But there are roads underwater as well. Fish need access to their spawning grounds, but their route is often blocked off. They get caught in traffic as it were. The many Dutch polders need dams and pumping stations to maintain water levels. This is important indeed, but fish simply can't swim through such obstacles. We call them fish migration barriers, and they present a problem that we need to solve. Migratory fish must be able to finish their journey to the spawning grounds. If they can't, those species will become extinct. That's the problem at the moment. As we speak, Eel is becoming endangered in the Netherlands at an alarmingly fast rate. As water authorities, we cannot just stand by.
four of the six main open connections between sea and land are located in the Rhine-West River Basin. The Wadden Sea, the North Sea Canal, the New Waterway, and from 2018 onwards, the Haring Fleet. This makes the Rhine-West region a vital gateway for fish, both nationally and internationally. Here in Holland, you are one of several countries who, who are within the catchment of the River Rhine, which is a, a large and iconic river. Uh, if the river is to be restored with its populations of salmon and eel and sea trout and, and other important species, if this is to happen, then crucially, Holland has a major role because the Rhine discharges to the ocean. Uh, the North Sea and the Wadden Sea here in your country. So I think there's a lot of expectation that you guys get it right so that everyone can benefit. The Rhine Delta is an area of major economic importance and it shows in the landscape. The Rhine estuary is heavily industrialized in many places. Its banks are densely populated Surprisingly though, real nature still exists here, underwater. Because of the gradual transition from fresh to salt water, these waters aren't just important migration routes for fish. They're habitats and spawning areas too, with a biodiversity that is still virtually intact. This is truly the Netherlands' last wilderness. Imagine the water as a network of roads. We can then make a road map for fish with highways, regional roads, and local byways. One thing becomes clear straight away. Many obstacles prevent the free flow of traffic. The Dutch water authorities have been working on improving water quality for decades. The EU Water Framework Directive has resulted in many regional projects being implemented successfully. But success will not be complete until all roads are connected, beyond administrative borders. The road map is a kind of route planner for fish. Some take the shortest route via a highway. Other fish prefer the byways to get to their spawning ground. The road map shows us precisely how they navigate from A to B. We started with the fish's point of view and how it reacts. Fish smell where they need to go. They smell the fresh water in the polder and that's where they want to swim to. This means you need to think ahead. Where does the fish belong? Eel, for example, must get to the Indian lakes. You will have to work out their entire route and then remove all the obstacles. The Rhine-West vision results from cooperation between the stakeholders involved. Fish obviously are not aware of any man-made administrative borders. So it is essential habitats are connected and fish can swim freely from one area into the next. Take the Haring Fleet sluices, for example. We now know that in 2018, these sluices will be opened. That's great. It means we will open up a route all the way to the Upper Rhine catchment area and Switzerland. And every water authority involved will know. My fish pass works well, and not just here, but all the way down to the sea, because the Haring Fleet sluices are open and vice versa, of course. And that's very important. It's very, very important. We're leaving behind a healthy water system for the next generation. A water system with a wealth of flora and fauna that's ready for the future, that can resist the pressures of growth. And with the needs for leisure, thousands of amateur anglers, as well as professional fishermen, it is of direct economic importance. We have 12 species of migratory fish in the Netherlands and all of them are on the verge of extinction. This is very serious indeed. I think it's vital we help these fish. We're safe now, our feet are dry and we're good at managing water. 
So really, nothing is stopping us from helping the fish migrate safely. The next step in the project is to improve traffic flow for fish by connecting specific regional roads and byways. Fish migration does not stop at our borders. It goes on to Germany and Belgium and France. So we must make international agreements. The legislation is on our side and the results are good. Especially in the Netherlands, where people live in highly urbanized areas, fish can bring them closer to nature and the water. I think society, and particularly children, have a great expectation for their enjoyment of the environment, and, and fish migration is, is one of the elements that we need to restore for the future. So, it's time for something great. Time for the next step towards a healthy and robust transboundary water system. From small to greater to grand. We've started. Will you join us?